Welcome back to Thunder Max Tech Support. My name's Bobby, and today we're gonna to be talking about properly developing your map. And if you tuned into last week's video, you should already know how to have that map loaded. So today, back to developing your map. Let's get started. All right, so first, we're gonna need some Sharpie and some painter's tape. But Bobby, why do I need a Sharpie and painter's tape? About to find out why. So in order to develop our map, we're gonna need to know our throttle position. I'm gonna put this tape on our throttle housing and on our throttle, and I'm gonna make some marks at zero, a quarter throttle, half throttle, three quarter throttle, and wide open. Now you can number these if you want, if you can't remember what's half, what's quarter, what's three quarter and what's wide open, but I'm just gonna put zero to know that that's closed. So now that we've got our throttle marked, we're gonna go into our ride sessions, what that means and what that consists of. So you're gonna start the bike and you're gonna find you a stretch of road that's nice and safe, free of traffic, and you're gonna form riding sessions. Now these riding sessions are gonna consist of pulls from 1500 RPM to 4000 RPM in fourth gear, beginning first at a quarter throttle. So you're gonna come down in speed to 1500 RPM, progress to a quarter throttle, go all the way up to 4000 and let off. Let the bike coast back down. Then you're gonna go from quarter to half. Bring it up from 1500 RPM, 4000 RPM, let off, let it decelerate back down to 1500 RPM. Third one, you guessed it, three quarter throttle from 1500 up to 4000 RPM, let off. And your fourth and final one, you're gonna come down to 1500 RPM, take your throttle position to wide open, go from 1500 to 4000 RPM, and let off and decelerate. Now, once you get back to your house, parking lot, or wherever you got your laptop set up, you're going to do an auto map. Auto map is found in the software at the top under map tools. You're gonna select that and, collect, and, and select auto map. Now what that does is gonna take those learning points that the ECM just learned from your first riding session and it's gonna apply that to your base map. Think of it like a pyramid. Start with a wide base and with each riding session, you're fine tuning it until you get to the point. Now you're gonna to wanna to do these riding sessions and auto maps at least three times. So on the second trip, you're just gonna do the same thing you did. The pull at a quarter, pull at a half, pull at three quarter, and the pull at full throttle. Go back, perform an auto map. You've done built another base. Third time, you're building another base. Generally speaking, depending on how close your base map was to your actual engine configuration, the auto tune will have your map dialed in by the third riding session. For some builds where the base map wasn't as close as it could have been, this may take longer. You'll know that by going into the auto points analyzer in the software. All right, again, thanks for tuning in for this Thunder Max tech support video. My name is Bobby. Be sure to like and subscribe. That way you can stay in the loop of everything that Thunder Max has going on. If you have any issues or concerns, please contact Thunder Max Tech Support. <laughs>